Hi everybody, it is May the 19th and today I spent a good amount of my day uh, putting away my classroom uh, for the summer. It went a lot different this year than it has in previous years. Usually the putting away of the classroom is exciting. It's like all week before we've had you know, ways to say goodbye to the kids and parties and maybe an excursion and uh, recognition uh, ceremonies and all these really cool things. And then the last day of school, it's like I hug every single one of my kids goodbye and tell them have a great summer. And when they leave, we, we all the teachers, we take them out to the buses and we line the parking lot and and wave until the very last bus has left the parking lot and then we cheer um and then the next day we come in to a breakfast at school to together just the teachers and then we have like you know the teachers like uh prizes if you will like hey you've been here five years ten years twenty years and you know those kind of recognitions and then we and finish out our classrooms and usually go to lunch with a buddy or two or five and it's all exciting and happy and wonderful. Today I was a little sad. There's nobody there. Not one kid did I get to hug. And so I left a little bummed. And usually leaving for summer is like the highlight. You know, yes, I will always miss my kids, but it's like they're moving on and my kids are still moving on, but I don't feel like I've gotten to do that for them. So, you know, I'm, my thoughts are here and there and, you know, all mixed up as usual. And so I'm reading and I'm to Th Psalm 139 and I'm not going to read all it because really all of Psalm 139 kind of expresses how I feel, but it starts at the beginning. Oh Lord, you have searched me and you know me. So he knows how I'm feeling and what I'm feeling. And it's like, if you go through the entire time, it's like, you know me when I stand up, you know me when I sit down. If I go to heaven, you're there. If I even go to, I think it's Shoal, which is the Jewish uh, area because they didn't believe in hell per se or heaven just yet. And so wherever I go, you're there, you know, and, you know, even gets into, you knew me before I was born. You knit me in my mother's womb and that's all in here. So there's nothing I can experience, nothing I can feel that God doesn't know. There's nowhere I can be that he's not there. And that's comforting, especially when things don't go exactly like I want them to, but they go like what they are. And so he understands that and he knows that and he's there with me. And that is very comforting. So that's where I found God today. I'm in a little bummed, but he's a little bummed there with me. So <laughs> I guess that makes me feel better. So hopefully wherever you are, hopefully you're in a good place, a happier place, a secure place, and God's there with you. But no matter where you are, he's there.